Hi everyone, Mrs. Thompson here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a bird feeder out of a gallon of milk. So it needs to be an empty gallon. You need scissors, a Sharpie, and eventually you're gonna need bird seed, some yarn, and some acrylic paint. But to get started with the first step, what you need again is an empty milk jug, a marker, and some scissors and help from an adult. You're not gonna do this part by yourself, so please get an adult to help you. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find where the opening of my bird feeder should be. And I'm gonna cut it um, on this side so I can get rid of this label. So all I'm gonna do, draw out the opening for my bird feeder. Now I'm gonna make mine kind of big because I don't care if squirrels get into my bird feeder. Um, I set out bird feeders for my cats to look at, so my cats are really happy if we get squirrels. So that looks good. Just kind of made a box around it. I can always make it a little bit bigger if I need to. Actually, I might make it a little bigger on this side. So I'm gonna cut out this black line that goes all the way around that label. Now when I start cutting, I need to be really careful. Make sure you're doing this with help from an adult. All right, let's see if this works. Once you get your scissors in, then you can just start cutting like normal, but that first step you have to be really careful. All right, and there is the first step done. See, I actually washed mine out, so there's a little bit of water in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour out this water or dry it with a paper towel. And I'm actually gonna start adding some paint. So I'm gonna move on to the next step now. All right, and the next step in this process is gonna be painting. So what we need is some acrylic paint. I have acrylic paint in lots of different colors. Um, like I said in the beginning, this is from Michaels. It's called Craftsmart, but I know they have acrylic paint at Walmart and Target and just try any paint you have at home just to see if it works. But before I start painting, I'm actually going to see if we can sand the milk jug just to make it hold on to the paint a little bit. Better. So this might make a little bit wipe it off now to get all the little plastic particles that we sanded off off of it. Okay, so you need to pick a color scheme. Um, I want to use a lot of pinks and purples and maybe some turquoise on top. I also have some silver paint, so I don't really have too much of a plan, but let's just see what happens. Now you need a mug of water to clean your brush and a paper towel because you want your um, brush to be as dry as possible when you switch colors. So I'm going to pick a flat paintbrush and I think I'm going to start on this side. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. I'm going to fast forward it a bit as well because I want you to paint your own. I don't want you to copy mine too much. I'm going to dip in and get started. This might take a couple coats if your paint is thinner like mine. But we'll see, I'm gonna be layering lots of colors on top of each other. My tripod broke so I didn't get to show you how I painted the rest of it but basically what I did was just layer little strokes of color on top of each other to cover all of the milk jug. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tie a piece of yarn to the handle of the milk jug. I'm going to put some bird seed inside and I'm going to hang it outside. So I'll check back in with you in just a moment. Hi Cambridge, welcome to my backyard. So I have finished my bird feeder and I already put some bird seed in it. In my backyard I have this special bird feeder hanger, um, but if you don't have one of these like I do, you can hang it on a tree branch, on a fence, you just put it on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and take the piece of string that I put on the handle. I'm just going to hang it right here. And throughout the day I'm just going to keep peeking to see if there's any birds that come feed. Alright guys, so if you make this at home, please send me a text or an email with a picture of yours or maybe even some pictures of you making it. I really want to see those pictures and so um, does Miss Tagey and Dr. Spear and everybody at Cambridge. They want to see what you're creating at home. I hope you're all being safe and I miss you terribly. I can't wait to see you guys in August. Bye everybody!